Welcome back. I hope that you and your child enjoy learning about algorithmic thinking and playing the game Pearly Whirly. Today, I'll be explaining how you can once again use our wonderful Schoolfish app to teach your child the second computational thinking skill, decomposition. Now, what is decomposition? Decomposition is simply breaking down a big problem into smaller problems. It's very useful when it comes to solving math problems, like complex math formulas that can be broken down into smaller equations and solved. Now, once again, we'll invite Doodle to explain decomposition to your child. First, we'll go through episode five. Hmm, how does this go again? Push? No. Twist? No, that's not right either. Oops. <laughs> well, you look awkward. <laughs> oh, hey kids. I'm just trying to pack this fella over here into the box using decomposition. Do you know what is decomposition? D comp po si shun. Decomposition. Decomposition is breaking things down into simpler parts so we can see what it's made up of. So instead of making a hamburger, we break the hamburger down into parts to see what it's made of. Hmm, I'd rather not decompose it though. It looks yummy like that already. Nope. <laughs> Another example is this fella I'm trying to decompose. Huh? What? Who, who did that? Is anyone here? Huh. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder who'd do this. Anyway, can you decompose this fella and tell me what it's made up of? <laughs> yes! Some of you got it right! This fella is made up of a head, a torso, two hands, and two legs. Now that you know what decomposition is, I will be... <gasps> oh no! I'm late to meet my buddy! Ah! Oh, let me keep this quickly! Head, hands, torso, legs, and, uh, that's it! <laughs> See you next time, kids! Hello! And now we'll go through episode 7. What? What's this? number of burgers I've eaten! Ah! <laughs> Do you know how big a number that is? Let me teach you how we can read this number by using decomposition. When I say decomposition, I mean breaking down the numbers into three groups. The three groups can be recited individually. The first group, as you already know, is recited as 321. This is the group of thousands. When you recite this group of numbers, you end it with the word thousands. And this is the group of millions. When you recite this group of numbers, 
you end it with the word million. So if you put the three sets of numbers together, it becomes 253 million, 762,000, 321. Yeah. Ta-da! And that's how you can break down and read big numbers. Try it. Now that I've taught you how to recite big numbers, do you think you can recite these numbers? <sighs> so full. <sighs> hmm. I'm just going to lie down here and... <laughs> Next, it's time to play the game, Manta Mania. This adventure involves your child to help find parts to repair a broken propeller on Miss Puffin's submarine from Manta's junkyard. Let me demonstrate. Now the objective is to move puzzle pieces from the right to fit the puzzle on the left. Decomposition is to break down the puzzle grid into smaller segments in order to solve the problem. Now here, on level 20, I'll make an attempt to move the pieces into the grid you see here. Finally, after playing the game, it is now time for the hands-on activity. One activity involves using clay modeling. To do this, you should walk your child through on how to break down your child's favorite animal into segments like the legs, body, and the head. Let's watch a clip on a demonstration. Let's make a horse. Just follow this step-by-step -step instruction. Of course. First, we're going to make hooves. Take a piece of gray clay and roll four middle balls. Then pin them with your finger. Great job. Hooves are done. Time to model legs. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll four middle balls. Roll into a cone with your hand. Then bend them with your fingers. You've done it. Legs are done. It's time to make a body. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll one big ball. Then roll it into a cone with your hands. Hooray! The body is done. Let's make a neck. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll one middle ball. Then roll it into a cone with your hands. And press with your finger. Well done. The neck is done. Let's model a head. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll one middle ball. Then roll into a cone with your hand. Pin it with your finger. And press a head with your finger. You've done it. The head is done. Now make a muzzle. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll one middle ball with your fingers. Then make nostrils with a pencil. And make a cut with a cutter. Great job! The muzzle is done. Let's model ears. Take a piece of light brown clay and roll two little balls. Then roll into a cone with your fingers. Well done! Ears are done! It's time to model eyes. Take a piece of white clay and roll two little balls. Make a deepening with a pencil. Hooray! Eyes are done! Next, make pupils. Take a piece of black clay and roll two little balls. Well done! Pupils are done! It's time to model a crest. 
Take a piece of yellow clay and roll ten little ball roll them into a cone with your fingers. Now make a tail. Take a piece of yellow clay and roll four little balls. Then roll into a cone with your hand. Well done. The tail is done. Congratulations. Now your horse is fully done. I like myself very much. You shouldn't stop. You're so talented. I hope you enjoyed this series on the composition. See you in the next video.